Yorum. Hey guys, I've decided to sell my Tirana race car and um, rather than try and write everything down, I'll do a quick video and run you through uh, what it is, where it's come from and, and, and what it's all about. Um, it's a 1974 Tirana SLR 5000. Um, it's not an original SLR, it's been a race car in New Zealand for a long time and uh, I brought it a, probably seven, eight years ago, raced it for a season with a Holden 308 did really well um, and then decided I'd go up a class and, and fit an LS motor. So it took me a year or so to fit it all out and do it but then uh, things uh, happened and, and I never got back to racing, it's been sitting around ever since so uh, I thought I'd uh, move it on because I'm not going to go racing anymore. So I'll, uh, I'll run you through what it is and, and, and what I've done to it. Starting at the engine which is uh, as you know pretty important, I replaced the old 308 cast iron with a uh, with a cast iron LS motor it's a race dart block it's got forged rods um, pistons crank a whole lot all the API balances going right through we, we put a whole new bell housing in it runs a Jericho full speed um, dog box uh, custom headers the dry sump is a um, alloy billet uh, like bit like the New Zealand um, touring cars were running the daily sump um, all dry sump right throughout with Pedersen tanks and plumbing etc. Um, the motor's in nice and low, all the cross, all the cross um, member was cut down and customised so that it would fit in low and get the power, the power and the weight right down low. Um, so the engine's been built as an endurance style engine, it's basically LS3 um, crank with LS7 um, size pistons so it's a, an over square bore that can rev nicely all day at 7,000 revs but it's not over stressed it's not an 8 or 9,000 rev motor it's more of an endurance should last one two seasons without even having to be rebuilt runs a um, holly style four bar barrel 650 single plane manifold you've got the MSD ignition um, it's the, the front forward style so that you can run in muscle cars so this car is eligible for uh, central, northern, uh, mainland and I think there's a new class out in, in New Zealand and it should fit into that too, um, being cast iron block. So new radiator, new uh, oil cooler, um, pretty much has been done. I was going to keep this for a long time and race it but I never got back into it so which is unfortunate but I, I took up other interests so hence why I'm selling it. So inside the cockpit it's pretty basic layout, uh, just your normal oil water, oil temp, oil pressure, um, you've got your switches for your pumps, electronic fuel pump, it's all pretty standard for the guys that are racing they know that. I fitted a, a large um, Kevlar seat to it so that's brand new. The belts need replacing, so um, just being up front with that, they're out of, out of date because it hasn't been used for so long. It's got a lightweight battery down on the floor there, fire extinguisher. Um, and uh, into the back you've got your normal roll cage, it's all certified because it's been a race car for years. And you've got the um, Pedersen oil dry sump tank over there, keeping all the weight balance nice. As you know these Tiranas are really well balanced, um, light little car. This one's even better, it's got the carbon fibre front guards, the bonnet, that saved uh, 35 kilos. Um, it's got the brand new spoiler from Rodney Heads. We've got um, Simmons wheels, it's got the big Brembo brakes that used to be on the, on the um, 
New Zealand V8s, so they're as big as you can get in New Zealand. Really good braking. This car was really good under brakes when I was driving it. Nothing's changed since then. Um, uh, obviously had a new exhaust fitted. The gearbox was freshened, um, bearings gone through. And then we get back down to the diff. The diff has got a lock diff in it and it's got uh, 29 spine floating axles on it, which were all purchased through Sedgidens. Um, and obviously it's got the Brembo brakes on the rear and it's also got a bias adjustment in the cab, uh, which we'll show you. Pretty simple, it's got the big uh, Bathurst drop tank in it, which it had when I got it. Goes through a nice fuel filter system, electric pump, and you've got the Pedersen uh, breather tank in the back. All real simple, not much to go wrong. Um, uh, yeah, got, obviously it's got rain lights and it's got brake lights, so uh, those are all working and all pretty simple here. Pretty nice carbon fibre bonnet. You can see all the carbon underneath, nice and light. I think the original was 40 kilos when I weighed it, so uh, this is about five or six. And uh, pretty easy to fit on. So in keeping with trying to keep the car as light as possible, um, Perspex in the back two passenger windows and in the, in the back here, keeps a heap of weight out of it. Left the originals in the front here so that we can wind them up and down, depending on weather, etc. But it's a very light car, handles well, and uh, we'll put some good lap times in. It'll be competitive for somebody that wants to get into muscle cars.